Everybody, regardless of where you live or whether you plan on riding the streetcar, you may still be paying to keep it running. The plan unveiled today will affect what you pay to park downtown. Local 12's Anjanette Levy is live and over the Rhine with the details for us. Anjanette. Well, Cammie, we also found out today that it'll cost $1 to ride the streetcar for two hours. That money, along with money from parking meters and a reduction in some tax abatements, will pay the $4 million a year to run the streetcar. More than a year after the streetcar rails started going in, there's now a plan to pay to run it. This is the most innovative plan I've seen for funding the operation of Cincinnati Streetcar anywhere in the United States. The plan, crafted by City Council Member Kevin Flynn, calls for installing more parking meters south of Liberty Street. The meters in Over the Rhine in the Central Business District would run until 9 p.m., seven days a week. Gone will be the days of free parking on Sundays, which is getting mixed reviews. If I had to pay for parking at all hours and on Sundays, I probably wouldn't come down as much personally. People will come from wherever. If you get a hot area, they'll come to it. The city would use dynamic parking at the meters, meaning the city could change the rates as it sees fit. The maximum rates, $2.25 an hour in the Central Business District and $1.25 an hour in OTR. Developers of new commercial properties will be asked to contribute 7.5 percent of their tax abatements to fund operations. Our hope is that we exceed the numbers that we're projecting. The streetcar plan doesn't dip into the city's general fund, something Mayor John Cranley demanded. It's kind of a lesser of all evils, I guess. It doesn't take money away that we can use for police and fire. But big picture, I still think this was not the best investment for the city. But the streetcar is here, and it has to run for at least 25 years. Supporters of the plan believe it puts the city on the right track. The sky's uh, not going to fall. Uh, this is a reasonable, well-thought-out, creative plan. And right now, six city council members are supporting this plan. It will have to go to the Transportation Committee and then will, could be put to a vote by the full council later this month. Reporting live from Over the Rhine, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cammie? Anjanette, I want to be clear about something. You said that the businesses in that area will be asked to contribute something in the form of their tax abatement. But what if they say no? I mean, can they say no? Well, Cammie, that only applies to commercial developments for new developments after January 1st of 2015. They can say no, but Kevin Flynn said that those tax abatements have to be approved for the, by the city. So it would almost be an incentive for them to get those tax abatements approved by checking that box on the application saying, yeah, we're willing to give back 7.5% to help fund the streetcar. Okay, that makes sense. All right, Anjanette, thank you. And if you'd like to read the entire plan, just log on to local12.com. We have a story and documents outlining the proposal.